my guess is that this uh, technology probably going to replace probably up to 50 to 60 percent operation previously done by road operation or by part surgery. It puts you at ease. It, it put me at ease anyway. The IVL technology has been an amazing opportunity to uplift care in the hospital. We uh, had been seeing Dr. Zhang for a little while and they did an angiogram and I had a partial blockage in one of my arteries. Anyway, uh, he explained to me that there was going to be a trial and he was going to have a number of patients that he'd like to trial and he asked me would I'd like to be one of those and I said, well, it's going to help him out, it's going to help me out. Yes, quite happy to do that. Prior to this technology, you have a two way to sort out this, uh, we call heavily calcified coronary artery stenosis. For both procedures, uh, we have to send to a tertiary center, such as Townsville or Brisbane. Those days, we are able to keep our patient locally to treat. With this shock of a balloon, the patient will be discharged next day. I felt good straight away. My experience with Dr. Zhang in the cardiac unit has been excellent. The exciting thing about this project has been the, the first in Australia aspect to it. But I guess what drew Dr. Zhang to this technology was both the additional safety and also the effective outcomes for the patient. So compared with traditional techniques, there's a reduction in some of the, the adverse events uh, for this particular technology. And also there's more effective outcomes in terms of the long-term benefit to the patient. So both of those things have been fantastic to see for this project. With this um, shockwave balloon, we are able to use the balloon catheter to deliver ultrasound energy to break the calcium. This has been proved by multiple studies as a safe and cost minimal coronary artery complications. So far, we have treated 22 patients. We have uh, no complications in the cath lab and the patient's clinical aim has been achieved. For example, angina relieved. Also, some are demonstrated improvement with their heart pumping function. So there's a great clinical outcome. This device does have TGA approval now. There are Queensland sites and Australia sites that are coming on board and that's a fantastic outcome to, to see those options available to the patient. That's what it really comes down to at the end of the day. It's been a great, great success. The pure fact we can do it here locally is good for the community because there's not that much disruption to family life. He just come into Mackay Base Hospital the day of a procedure and uh, discharge next morning. The feedback from the patient certainly is highly satisfactory for this procedure. So there is um, very attractive options for Mackay, I believe will be for other regional centres as well. It's all about making sure that the technology is as widely available for patients wherever they are. The big thing here is we're talking collaboratively and we deliver high quality cardiac care. I'm lucky to have such a great team we certainly will be able to communicate to our colleagues at other centres, uh, share our experience and they will improve community care locally, improve their patient flow and also patient satisfaction in any regional centres.